Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the internet. A couple weeks ago, I posted a video that documented my attempt at using acrylic paint in place of watercolor. The acrylic paint I used in that video was really old and pretty cheap, but it, it worked fine for my purposes. After doing a couple of acrylic paintings though, I remembered how much I like the medium. Watercolor is still my favorite, but acrylic has its benefits too. So of course, I was curious to see if newer paint would work even better. After a trip down to the local craft store, I picked up a few tubes of Windsor and Newton Galleria acrylic paint and tested it out on the watercolor paper that I'd used before. But I seemed to have even more trouble with it than with the old stuff. For some reason, it seemed like I couldn't get the paper to take any paint and it didn't seem opaque enough. Now, of course, this paint is still on the lower end of the scale price-wise, and I am not too familiar with this medium. I don't really think I'm good enough at it to warrant spending too much money on paint, and I think that it's really easy to fall into the trap of blaming your materials for the quality of your artwork instead of working on your skills. But I still thought it was odd. So it occurred to me that maybe, just maybe, watercolor paper is not meant to be used with acrylic. <laughs> so, of course, I decided to do an experiment. For the experiment, I prepared three different surfaces, I guess, for painting. Cans and watercolor paper, cans and mixed media paper, and a canvas from the dollar store. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm pretty much just going down the list of California state parks for my paintings. I'm working on the US national parks for my national park series, but in the meantime, I thought I'd try to do all the California parks, which should last me a while because there are over a hundred. I kind of like to feel like I'm working towards a goal instead of just painting random things, and I'm also looking for cool places that I might like to visit in the future. So as you can see, I prepared the mixed media paper with gesso beforehand. I also taped the edges with painter's tape so that I could leave a clean border when I peeled the tape off. This is not something that I usually do with my watercolors generally because it does give you significantly less space and I'm already working with a pretty small space, but I was a little concerned that I was going to get the pages of the sketchbook stuck together with acrylic paint or something. I know that technically you're supposed to sand down the gesso with fine sandpaper, but I didn't have any nice clean sandpaper on hand so I, I decided to paint on top of it as soon as it was dry. I actually like the texture that the gesso gave the picture. It makes it almost look like it's on canvas, even though it's not. And when I showed it to my family to get their opinion, they said, is that oil? No, it's not oil. <laughs> I don't have any oil paints, but it, it's, it's just an acrylic experiment. The mixed media paper is relatively thick. I generally use it for alcohol markers because it's a little thicker than normal sketchbook paper. But as I soon realized, it tends to curl and flop around when it gets wet with paint. This was manageable, but it still wasn't ideal. The watercolor paper was a bit stiffer than the mixed media paper, which was nice. It also seemed to be taking the paint slightly better, although that could have been because I was getting used to painting with this paint. One odd thing I did notice was that when I peeled off the tape, the top layer of the paper started to rip. I didn't have this problem with the mixed media paper, even though I prepared them both the exact same way. I always stick the tape on my clothes a couple of times before putting on the paper, which is usually enough to make it easily pe peel off, so I'm guessing it was a problem with the paper.
I'll admit, I don't love using canvases, and this fact could contribute to my affinity for watercolor. <laughs> using a canvas is a recipe for art block for me, because whenever I have a canvas in front of me, I'm afraid to mess it up. I feel like whatever art I fill it with won't be good enough or impressive enough for it, and I don't seem to have the same issue with paper. I know that some people do, like they can't start the first page of their sketchbook, but I've never been afraid to write on, draw on, or rip up paper. <laughs> Just ask my parents, they'll tell you. I know that some people like to have fancy notebooks to write in, or pretty sketchbooks, but personally, I don't. I love ordinary, spiral-bound notebooks. You can get them for super cheap, and I feel like I'm able to be more creative when I know that I can just rip the page out and it doesn't matter. While the canvas I'm using came from the dollar store, I still don't love the fact that they take up more space than paper. Although I do have to admit that the canvas worked best for this paint. It was a lot easier to layer the paint, and it felt like the canvas could actually take more paint than the paper could. Um, for some reason, it reminded me of the time I tried to use alcohol markers in a cheap sketchbook that I got from Walmart. Don't try it, it did not go well. <laughs> thicker paper will obviously take the ink from the alcohol markers a lot better than thinner paper will, and it probably is the same with paint. Even though I prepared the canvas exactly the same way, I, I felt like the texture of the gesso was less noticeable, and of course the canvas wasn't flopping around like the paper was. Ironically, the cheaper paint seems to work better on watercolor paper than the better quality paint does, and I guess that makes sense. If the paint is intended to be used, you know, in an educational setting, it's unlikely that it would be used on canvases. So for now, I'll keep using the cheap paint on paper, and I will use the more expensive paint if I ever want to paint on a canvas. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!